Naval Air Station Pensacola gearing up for the Blue Angels Homecoming Air Show. This year, Air Force Thunderbirds joining the Blues for the show Friday and Saturday. Now, the teams have flown together in Pensacola before, but it was for training, never for the air show. Tanner Stewart got a first-hand look today at the Thunderbirds practice. Today on base at NAS Pensacola, the Thunderbirds F-16 fighter jets wowed the crowds from every direction. Blue Angel number 4 Lieutenant Commander Amanda Lee says flying with the Thunderbirds isn't unusual for practice, but bringing the Super Delta to life for the public on Wednesday is something new for everyone. And bringing the Thunderbirds experience to Pensacola is a nod to the aviation community. We kind of kick off our winter training in El Centro with Thunderbirds Super Delta training. They come to El Centro for a week and this is the first time where we've been able to put that training into fruition and say thank you to the city of Pensacola for all of your support and do a Super Delta flyover with the Thunderbirds. Lee is flying her final homecoming air show this weekend, telling me she's anxious for the new fleet to have their turn. I knew this tour was going to go by quick. I can't believe the end is almost here. Uh, it's a very bittersweet ending as we welcome the oncoming 2025 team uh, and say goodbye to the family that we've made over the last two to three years. Blue Angel boss Alex Armitas is also saying farewell to the Blues and rejoining the carrier fleet. Armitas says capping off his tour with the Blue Angels alongside the Thunderbirds is a moment he'll never forget. Join, I don't think many people join the military to be in the Blue Angels. This is an incredible opportunity for the few that get to do it and it's fun and it's uh, it's certainly unique and it's special, but our our military members join to serve their country and to, and, to, and to protect their country and defend the Constitution of the United States and that's why I joined and I'm uh, as much as I enjoy this job, I'm excited to get back to the fleet and get back to doing what the Navy and Marine Corps exists to do. I'm Tanner Stewart reporting. Now, we were scheduled to speak with pilots from the Thunderbirds, but unfortunately, the weather canceled that interview. Now, we'll be going live, broadcasting live from NES Pensacola tomorrow morning, beginning at 430 on the WEAR Morning News. If you can't make it out to the base for the air show, we'll also be streaming both the Blue Angels flights and the Thunderbirds live on our website, WEARTV.com, and on our social media sites, Facebook and YouTube pages. And coming up just a little later, we'll share all of the displays that will be available at the air show and who got an early look at them.